Okay, so we'll be looking at working with objects. This is a second part of a two-part series that we, we looked at. Uh, first, we looked at grouping objects together. Uh, this time, we're going to be looking at how we utilize Canvas uh, to allow us to have all our objects together. So we're going to go to the Insert menu, and this is where you'll find the option for Canvas. We'll now go to the Shapes uh, option. And then we're going to scroll down to the, the end here. And uh, you now notice at the very end of the option for shapes, you have the option for new join canvas. So we're going to select that option that says new join canvas. And once you have selected it, you'll see uh, this little object appearing. This is your canvas. And notice it has sizing handles like all your other objects. So you can uh, resize diagonally, uh, horizontally, and so on, or vertically as well. All right, so what we want to do with our canvas, uh, pretty much everything that you're going to be working with, you want to place that on the canvas. So if we, let's say we have a flow chart or something we're doing, uh, let's just put that there. So there's our flow chart. We have uh, that particular start chart that we're working with. Let's find another. Okay, here we go. This is, uh, okay, let's go to flow charts. We can find some related shapes to work with. All right, let's use this one. Here we go. All right, so this is our input output. For those of us who are familiar with, for those of you who are familiar with that, uh, there we go. So a simple chart, we just want to input something and then we maybe want to just end it or something. And there we go. We're going to have another symbol here for end. just want to show you the basic idea of how this will keep all the objects together on the canvas. So the flow chart, usually you have arrows going down. So here we go. We have another we have an arrow here. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to show with you, how you can keep your arrows very straight. Um, I'm going to undo this. I'm going to do that again. So if you want to keep your arrows straight, you can hold down the shift key while you're dragging and placing your arrow in place. Hold down the shift key and it will keep that vertical and straight for you. Let's do that again for the next uh, one. So we're just going to hold down the shift key here while we're holding that in place. Okay, let's do that again. So I'm going to click on my arrow again. I'm going to hold down the shift key first and then drag down in place and we'll keep it straight. That's, that's not very straight, is it? I think I did something. I'm going to do that again one more time. Shift key. I'm going to drag it down in place. Release. There we go. All right, so we have our flow chart in place. So you don't need to, unlike uh, before when we looked at the option of grouping, you don't really need to do that once using Canvas because all you need to do is to work with the Canvas. So everything is going to be together. All right, so if, for example, I wanted to move all of this to another location or something, all I had to do is just copy the Canvas. So I'm just going to Control c Copy, Control n go to a new document. Once I paste, everything will be together, right? So that's pretty much how um, your canvas works. Uh, it keeps everything together, all your objects together. So this is also another alternative way other than using the grouping option that you can use to keep your objects together when working with objects. All right, so I hope that you guys have seen another way to work with objects, and I hope that you have been inspired to go ahead and uh, adopt this approach. So uh, if this video actually helped you, well, share it with someone, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.